On this episode of China Uncensored, China tries to steal genetically modified frankenfood seeds. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. You know, it says in the Bible, if you have faith like a mustard seed, you can move mountains. Fortunately, or unfortunately if you're a mountain, we now have the technology to genetically modify seeds so they can move mountains for us. I assume. I don't actually know much about what genetically modified seeds do. Fortunately, no one does. Very little testing has been done, and most of it is kept from the prying eye of the public, which is what nature intended. If God meant for us to know what genetically modified seeds did, he would have had scientists genetically modify us to be able to telepathically read scientists' minds. As it is, GMO seeds are a closely guarded secret and legal intellectual property of whoever makes them. Now, I'm sorry to say this, but a dark page has just been turned in the otherwise shining history of genetically modified foodstuffs. China is trying to steal American seeds. Last week, two separate cases emerged of China trying to steal genetically modified corn and rice. The corn was a special hybrid inbred line designed by DuPont Pioneer. Mmm, sounds delicious. Two years ago, a random Chinese man was found poking around in one of these inbred corn farms. That's a registered trademark, by the way. The FBI tracked the man and his colleagues for two years. Turns out, Mo Hai Long is a permanent resident of the U.S. living in Florida. He was working for a Chinese agriculture company called Dabe Nong, or DBN Group, and a unit it owns, King's Knower Seed. I guess they didn't know her how to spell knower. Should have an apostrophe there, too. Mo and his colleagues have been charged with conspiracy to steal trade secrets. The other case involves these two men, who stole samples of genetically modified rice. The court documents call it Company A, but NPR says they found out Company A is really Ventria Bioscience. They splice new genes into rice, so they generate proteins that can be used to treat diseases. They're not allowed to grow that near rice meant for food because, <laughs> come on. Zhang and Yang arranged a Chinese delegation to visit the U.S. this year and passed off the stolen seeds to them. They were caught when custom agents discovered it in the delegation's luggage as they were preparing to go back to China. Customs knew something was amiss when their suitcases started emitting an eerie green light and faint screaming. Now, both of these cases are just the most recent in a long string of intellectual property theft committed by Chinese companies. According to a report by the Commission on the Theft of American Intellectual Property published in May, the U.S. loses $300 billion a year and millions of jobs to IP theft, and China is behind as much as 80% of the theft. But this latest case really makes me sick. China is taking something as innocent and pure as perverting the natural order of things and perverting it. What do you guys think about China trying to steal patented American seeds? And what do you think of the fact that seeds can be intellectual property? Leave your comments below, subscribe, and keep the conversation going on the Facebook and Twitter page. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.